Uh, should we start with Manchester United? Let's do it. Should we do that? Yeah. Man United forward Marcus Rashford mm. is facing a hefty fine after he called in sick to training following that 12-hour drinking binge, allegedly. The club have confirmed that Rashford has taken responsibility for his actions after he was seen partying in Belfast ahead of the Red Devils FA Cup game against Newport County. TalkSport's chief football correspondent Alex Cook joined the breakfast show this morning and said it's no surprise Rashford's been out of form. I can't defend it at all. It's not the first time that we've had this kind of incident with Marcus Rashford. He was out partying uh, after the Manchester derby when United were hammered 3-0 at home by City. Obviously, we had the incident last season before the game at Wolves, ironically, which is the fixture United have got to contend with this week where he was late for training or late for the the, the, the match day meal and was dropped to the bench. And to be fair, he took his punishment. He, he owned up to his mistake and he went on to have a very good season. He scored four goals this season. He got 30 mm-hmm. last and it can't be a coincidence. That was Alex Cook, TalkSport's chief football correspondent, giving us his view and uh, going on about the fact that Rashford's form hasn't been great this season, which it hasn't, right? I'm not going to defend that. His form last year or last season after the World Cup at Christmas time was fantastic. Was Was it 30 goals in all comps? Mate, after the World Cup, he was on fire. He, He couldn't stop scoring the kid. Okay. Yeah, on fire. Do, do you? Um, I I haven't done a show with you for a long, long time, yeah. so I don't really know your your views on the Marcus Rashford mm. situation. Just briefly, because this is not where we're going with it. I want to ask you another question. Just briefly, your views on the the whole scenario over the last what seventy two hours or so. I I think it's very strange, and I, I think we need to be a little bit careful here about what's going on in inside his head at the moment. Because for him to go over to Ireland, knowing because it's such a small place, Belfast, right? It's, it's, it, London's big, but if we walk through, you know, Oxford Street, people are going to recognise. He's one of the most recognised faces in English football, yep. right? Globally. Some, uh, something doesn't add up to me. For him to go, and if it's it, true, if he is going out in a nightclub, and I looked up the nightclub, by the way, last yeah. night. I can't, is it Thompson's Rail Yard or something? It's called, I'll find it in a second. Sounds like right? a directory. Mate, honestly, it, it doesn't... Why it, are you looking it up? It's a it's, nightclub. It's, yeah, I know, but I, wanted, I, wanted, okay. I was looking at its reviews. The reviews were a bit mixed, actually. Um, but there's, some, there's, there's something I don't think, nothing adds up. What is he doing? I agree. Right? This is not the actions of someone that knows his role, knows how, how professional football works, knows he's got a Euros, by the way, in five months. Mm. Yeah, something doesn't add up to me. And I think that we, we might find out that there's something a little bit deeper I agree. going on. Through. I agree. So we do have to tread carefully on that. Should do. It's, it's yeah, very easy to come out and actually, you know slaughter the fellow. And yeah, I, I I, he's only, what, 26 years old. And that, that is still young, right? Yeah, I know people he's, go, he's been a footballer for a long time. He? 26, he's still a baby. Thompson's Garage, it's called, the nightclub. Thompson's Garage. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I don't... Yeah, don't well, I just... I just okay. don't um, you mentioned his Euros there. Yeah. As things currently stand, I sort of feel as though with Gareth Southgate, it doesn't really matter what a player is going through with regards to form, lack of it, first team experience, etc. Mm. And I'm alluding to, you know, Harry Maguire and, yep. and Henderson as well. I sort of feel if Gareth Southgate has got his players in mind who he wants to take with and even start, mm. then unless something horrific happens to that player off the field, he's going. Do, do you currently think if the squad was going to be an, a, announced, not tomorrow, if the squad was going to be announced this time next week, so next Tuesday, mm-hmm. would his name be on that sheet? Maybe. We got we got another international. By the yeah, we got March, two games. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> so the thing, the problem he's got is that on that left hand side, competition is fierce. One of the most fiercely contested positions yeah. in that England squad. I think Maguire has been fortunate that actually it's one of the weakest parts of our squad. So therefore, who else is there? Almost. You've got Grealish, Foden, Gordon, Sterling. Actually, he's had a decency. I don't know whether he can afford to have that kind Do you of. Do think Gordon, time Gordon more so than Rashford? But he's in the conversation. I think he's it's fair to say he's in the conversation. Yeah. He's had a better season than Rashford. Grealish, well, I mean, he's, he's been in and out himself. Foden, right? He he starts ahead of, yeah. of Rashford. For me, Sterling gets ahead of Rashford right now, but Sterling's fallen out of favour. I don't know what's happened there as well. But he is loyal. You're absolutely right. Rashford will be one of the first names on the team sheet. But if he's going out partying, if this if this happens again, or something, there's another misdemeanour, and there might be other stories coming out, and let's, fingers crossed for his sake, there's not... Southgate, will, he has a dim view of those sort of things. Let me ask you quickly about his form as well, right? Yeah. How, how good a player on his day is Marcus Rashford? Brilliant. I said to no. ben, Benty yesterday, if everyone's fit and yeah. raring to go, yeah. who starts on that left? And yeah. he said Foden. I can't really argue with that. No. But what I can say is on their day, Foden's equally as important. Sorry, uh, Rashford's equally as important yeah. to yeah. England. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does, a, does an inform Marcus Rashford get into the majority of top 10 sides? And by that, I mean your side, yes. Newcastle. Yes. Uh, I would imagine. Yes. On, on his, the thing is, Rashford, and he makes a fool of you, Rashford, because he goes through patches where he is superb, right? Where he hits the form of his life, and then six months later, 12 months later, 
he goes from that he falls off a cliff to being a zero. Yeah. So he makes a fool of you. So there's a player in there. Consistency at the highest level is always the one thing you demand. The best players find a way to be consistent for as long as possible. Like I said, he's got fierce competition out on that left-hand side right now. And the thing, again, in the squad, because he's versatile, he, pl- he can play down the middle. Southgate may look at that as well. Okay, yes or no, do you take him? Right now, ooh, that's a 50-50 for me. Right I now. I need a 51. Do you take him? You think I don't know. It? Okay. I don't know, mate. All right, does Gareth take him? Maybe. Okay. I know, I'm, I'm right, toss of a coin, can't, yeah? You can't tell with Gareth, can you? Because no, you can't. The way he looks at the squad. Talk TV host Piers Morgan joined the breakfast show this morning, said that Man United fans should be alarmed by Rashford's behaviour. Setting your hair down is one thing, but going on, you know, 12-hour benders and drinking tequila like it's going out of fashion, when you're not scoring goals, when you've already had disciplinary issues... Um, it seems to me uh, extremely ill-advised. Last season, he was electrifying. And, you know, people were talking about him being one of the best players in the country, if not the world. Um, but this season, he looks a completely different player. His life off the pitch appears to be going off the rails. And if I was a United fan, um, you know, to see one of your top players behaving like this uh, would be extremely concerning. Jay, if you find out that there is no ulterior motive, there is no uh, mm. nothing else going on apart from the fact he's just decided to get on it for 12 hours, woke up, smashed out of his face, phoned the club and said he was... If you just found out it was just a player on a bender, mm. would you be stunned? Yeah, I would be, yeah. Because if you think about who he is at Manchester United, he's 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 almost the, the, the poster boy, isn't he, for United? Come yeah. from the academy. Yeah. Remember what he'd done through COVID, right? Yeah. Struck the government, Got made an MBA. Them, embarrassed them. Um, fought for kids at meals throughout COVID and he became one... He was on the front pages for very different reasons. Mm-hmm. Something is... I, I, I'd be amazed if something hasn't gone on behind the scenes. Now, we don't... It's I don't want to speculate because you heard what happened with Jaden Sh- Sancho when clearly he had mm-hmm. issues off the pitch and Ten Hag sent him off to try and get himself sorted. I, I don't really want to go down that but that route, but in all honesty, I'll be amazed if there isn't a third force at work. I agree, OK. Uh, let's go to the phone lines, 0371722334. Harry's first up, a Wolves fan. Hello, Harry. Hi, H. Hi, you, Gentry, OK? I'm yeah. great. How are you today? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad at all. I was just saying about Marcus Rashford in the sense of this man is meant to be a professional athlete and whether there's an ulterior motive or not, that is you in that spotlight. And he is meant to be a senior member of that Manchester United team. Judging off what he's doing at the moment, that bloke deserves to be nowhere even remotely close to that England team, mm. let alone close to the Man United bench. That bloke is meant to be a role model, not only for people and fans, but for younger players coming through. And what's what's that, yeah. Go on, what were you going to say, sir? Yeah, I hate that argument. I think I don't think that strengthens your argument at all because, you know, you don't know what goes on. That's the whole point. You know, Marcus Fresh, we don't know what's happened. We don't know what's going on. And then when we judge them publicly, but we don't know. When you judge someone publicly, you can't judge them in the same eyes as you can if you know him personally. But, Jason, the argument I have to that is what we've seen with the likes of Deli Ali, Ivan Tony, and so on and so on over the last 12 to 18 months, it has put a real spotlight on the fact that, yes, some of these players do need more support. And now, especially with how society treats mental health nowadays, Mm -hmm. which I'm a big advocate for in men's mental health, he has every opportunity, and the club does, within their right, and the FA, to provide that player with the support. Mm-hmm. But he also has to have the responsibility to reach out for that as well. No, and he's yeah. obviously not taking that, that choice, is he? And, no, and he's choosing well, we to, don't, to... We don't know. We don't know. You know. And, and, and again, it's very difficult to speculate about someone. But when they're such high-profile players, as such as, as, as Marcus Rashford, and as I pointed out, off the pitch, he became a bit of an icon, didn't he? For families mm-hmm. throughout that, that, tif- that difficult period we all went through. And... When you set yourself up on a pedestal when you're so high and you mentioned he got awarded the NBA, things, your life changes. You know, maybe there's, a, there's pressures that he didn't expect to happen. It was all mm. well and good during COVID. Now he got, he got at, at the highest level. When you're playing for a club like Man United, as soon as your form drops, you know, you, you know this, as soon as your form drops, the spotlight's on you, especially someone like him who's the poster boy come through the academy, England player. Um, and at the moment, his form, there's no doubt his form's di- dipped. Um, we, just, we just don't know where uh, Good call. Thanks for that, Harry. Let's go to Andy, a Man City fan. Hi, Andy. Hi there, Andy. OK? I'm great. Very well. How are you today? Excellent. Thank you. Um, I'm going to be an advocate for Marcus Rashford, to be honest. Um, I fought last season for United. I still think there's a, a world-class footballer in there. And he's never let his country down. I appreciate he's got some off-field issues. But as Jason's just alluded to there... We don't know what's going on. He's had to carry that football club for 
a period of two, three years. COVID affected people differently. He had a lot of additional pressure, some of his um, outside football works he was doing. And we don't know how that's affected him, especially with the takeover, etc. cetera, at United. I would be definitely one to take him to the Euros because his form for England and his whole demeanour for England, he's always played with that smile on his face, which you don't always say at club level. So, for me, he has to come to the England squad. Andy, let me ask you, I know you're a Man City fan and Marcus Rashford, of course, is Manchester United, but if you take that out of the equation, would you have him at your club? Would you like to see him on the left? If I could take any one player for Man United, it'd still be Marcus Rashford, hands mm. down. He's a fantastic footballer. And more for that, he always scores against us. He always does really well. Yeah, true. So, yeah. OK, what a good call. Thanks, Andy, for that. I... um. I think there's a lot of fans out there that would have more. I'd have them at Chelsea. If things break down yeah, irreparably... Mate, Chelsea have everyone, though. Yeah, we do. Yes, we pay £25 million <laughs> over the asking price. But if things break down where Ten Hag, a little bit like Jadon Sancho, if that happens, then I think he, I think that would be a, an absolute misdemeanour by the club for, to allow him to go. But isn't it funny, though? Do you know, you think about him and Sancho. They're very tight, right? I yeah. wonder whether how the other t- other players will look at the way that J- Jadon Sancho was treated. Yeah. And now Marcus Rashford, from what we can gather, has been allowed to get away with it in some ways two well, weeks we, fine. we don't know really no, know. what's going to happen I what, what I said on yesterday's show and someone I don't use gutter as I call it Twitter X whatever it is yeah. but sometimes I'll have a quick flick someone someone tweeted this morning saying I can't believe you compared Eric Cantona to Marcus Rashford on yesterday's show and I didn't what I did was you do it? Uh, <laughs> what I did was I compared how a player will give special dispensation to a special player. And I was talking about Eric Cantona when he did the Kung Fu kick yeah. and how Fergie dealt with him. Yeah. I'm not comparing anyone here. I'm just giving examples of how if a manager rates a player and sees that that player is mm. a special player and has got a special talent mm. and wants him to do well at the club, mm. sometimes that manager will go above and beyond to make sure they we, keep him you there. Know, maybe, maybe there is you know, an admittance of guilt from Rashford. Maybe there is genuine remorse for what he has done generally feels mm. I am sorry I've let people down my head's in a bad space I will use this now as a positive to make sure I get myself back because there's still time between now and the years if he comes back into this Man United squad yep. his form turns around starts doing what we know Marcus Rashford can do then it's almost impossible for Southgate to leave him out but as I said Grealish, Foden, Gordon, Sterling and you know if Harvey Barnes mm. comes back you know there's another, there's another player Talk Sport Drive Super Opinionated Sporting Debate Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker Talk Sport